A college student murdered. Now, tonight, we're learning new information about the Fort Worth man who has been arrested by police. He always liked to um, let you know that he was, like, better than you, that they had money, and that there was nothing he could really do that um, wouldn't, like, would, that his parents couldn't get him out of trouble kind of thing. A former classmate tonight sharing vivid memories about Brandon Thiesfeld with us this evening. Good evening. I'm Doug Dunbar. 10 o'clock now. 22-year-old Brandon Thiesfeld was a student at Ole Miss with 21-year-old Allie Koschel. Tonight, we are learning more about the boy who went to school here in Fort Worth before growing up and going off to college and ultimately today ending up in shackles and jail. Aaron Jones gets us underway live over at Fort Worth's Country Day School tonight. Aaron. Doug, a spokesperson for this school tells me that the suspect attended from 2012 to 2014, but did not attend after that due to academic reasons. Tonight, as you heard, we spoke to some of his former classmates. They're reacting to this arrest. Three days after the body of Ali Castile was found near a lake about 10 miles from the Ole Miss campus, her classmate, Brandon Thiesfield, was arrested for her murder. This video shows the 22-year-old in an orange jumpsuit being led out of a Mississippi courthouse into a sheriff's car. Castile, a Missouri native, was last seen Friday night. Authorities haven't revealed how she died. It's unclear how or if she knew Thiesfield. Really close friends of mine were really close friends of his. This woman, a former Fort Worth County Day School classmate of Thiesfields, asked us not to show her face because their class was very small and everyone knew each other. She and others in this close knit community are now reacting to his arrest. We were all kind of shocked that we went to school with somebody like that, but again, not super surprised just because he wasn't like the nicest person. He always liked to um, let you know that he was like better than you, that they had money and that there was nothing he could really do that um, would it like would that his parents couldn't get him out of trouble kind of thing. Um, yeah, he was just really entitled. After completing his freshman and sophomore year at Fort Worth County Day, Thiesfield didn't return for academic reasons. He transferred to San Marcos Academy where he completed high school. Thiesfeld was a senior at Ole Miss studying business. A spokesperson for the university tells us that he's been suspended. He's now in jail, being held without bond. Live in Fort Worth, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, thank you very much.